All right, now here is some exciting information for you guys. Folks at 925 Google have confirmed some of the new features, UI changes and animations coming to One UI 5.0 based on Android 13. So in this video, let me quickly share these features. Do note that these features are found on the initial beta release and these could be a few features out of many coming to One UI 5.0. The first one is a minor change on the notification panel which adds new icons to the alerts or the notifications. As you can see here on the screenshot, we have got the related app icon shown on the left hand side of a particular notification we receive on the notification panel. This makes it easier to know the app from which you have received the notification. Earlier we did get to see some of the icons on the right hand side but not for all the notifications. As you can see here in this notification which is on One UI 4.1, some of the icons are displayed on the right hand side and some of the notifications don't show these icons. There is no uniformity here. But on the current version, we will have app icons on the left hand side for all the notifications that we receive. Moving on to the second feature, now we can see the currently active app on the quick settings area. As you can see on the screenshot, we have got the currently active application shown right here, but it looks like this is not placed properly on the quick settings area because this is covering the quick toggles as well. I'm sure this will be rectified and redesigned and placed right above these quick toggles. Now, before we move on to the third feature, a sub and a like for this video would be much appreciated. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel to watch some cool contents about One UI, Galaxy phones, tips and tricks, best applications, etc. There are loads of contents on the channel. You can go ahead and check them out. There are a few links I have left in the description as well. Now let's talk about the third feature. We have got optical character recognition now on One UI 5.0. Yes, Samsung has introduced the optical character recognition, which means we can copy the text from an image inside the gallery. As you can see here, right below the image at the bottom right corner, we will see an all new icon. When we tap on this, the AI is going to recognize all the text and we will be able to copy it and paste it wherever we want. This feature we have seen on the iOS recently and this is coming to Samsung Galaxy phones as well. Earlier we were able to do this by using Bixby Vision but now right here on the image we will get this option to copy the text and paste it wherever we want. This is a cool feature we have. Next one is regarding the Samsung's Notes application. We will get an all new option called Share with Collaborators. As you can see here it says write, edit and share notes with up to 100 people at the same time. Everyone can see changes as soon as they are made. Now this feature is meant for a specific group of people who use and share notes more often, for them it will be really useful. This is another cool feature we are going to get on One UI 5.0. Now let's move to the next one. Apparently Samsung has added two new options in the lab section. One is swipe to open a pop-up view for an application and swipe to multitask in a split screen mode. As you can see in this screenshot, we've got swipe for pop-up view. We can turn this on. Perhaps this is in the lab section. As you can see, it says swipe from the top corner towards the middle of the screen to change to pop-up view. What I understand is, let's say we have got an application open on the screen. We can swipe from the top right corner to the center of the screen to open that particular application in the pop-up window. The other one I mentioned is swipe for split screen. As you can see, it says swipe up with two fingers from the bottom of the screen to change to split screen view. Swipe again to switch apps. This is again a very cool and useful productivity feature we have got here. We can swipe up with two fingers from the bottom of the screen to open the app in split screen view. That is fantastic. All right, now the next feature Samsung has introduced is the ultra wideband toggle on the connection settings menu. As you can see here, we have got ultra wideband. It says identify the precise location of nearby devices. This feature seems to be interesting. We will have to see how exactly this is going to work. This ultra wide band is a short range wireless communication protocol that operates through radio waves. And it uses a very low energy level as well. We are going to dig more into this feature in the coming days as and when we get the first beta on the Galaxy phone. So if you want to be updated, you need to subscribe to the channel, so don't forget to do that. All right, now the next feature is related to the security and privacy. It seems like the security and privacy hub now has a new design and a better security as well. As you can see in the screenshot, we have got lock screen, accounts, find my mobile, app security, updates, everything is at one place and we also have scan option here. Okay, now here is another minor change. Samsung has modified the pop-up menu as well for the app permissions. As you can see here, this is a newly designed pop-up we get. 
whenever there is permission request for any particular application. These are some of the changes we are going to see on One UI 5.0 based on Android 13. Frankly, I don't see a major upgrade here. I would definitely want to wait and see the actual beta version of the software and see whether there are any more features which are being added here. Are there going to be any new features related to the battery optimization, usability and productivity of the device? These are something which we would like to see with this all new upgrade. I'm hoping that there are more features to this. Let's wait and see. The moment we get the first beta, I will keep you guys posted. You guys let me know what do you think about these changes in the comment section below. That's all I want to share with you guys. My name is Salyan signing off. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye. Oh, <laughs>